It's morning in the Roadshow Kitchen. Oh, we love when he comes in because he decorates the entire counter too. So it makes us look good. David is here from Parma. Welcome back. Hi, how you doing? Happy right. holidays. Happy holidays to you. We're going to talk about holidays and what you guys are doing for that in just a little bit. Absolutely. We want to get to the recipe at hand. I got to take my eyes off of all the finished plates that you've brought along. Yeah, we brought a little extras. Some little holiday so treats. Much, uh, Absolutely. Good, because you know our crew is always hungry. Yeah, what are we they come in. Today, today it's, uh, we're making imbotito di porco, which is stuffed pork loin or stuffed pork in, in okay. English. Uh, hence um, the, uh, the, the, the butcher twine, twine and stuff like okay. that. So what we're going to show you is like when you buy those pork tenderloin in the store and stuff like that, you mm -hmm. hammer flatten and roll it right out and then hammer flatten the thing. We're going to okay. stuff it with some nice sauteed spinach, sun-dried tomatoes. Mm. We got some fresh grated uh, mozzarella and provolone cheese. We got some spices uh, to throw in there, some layers, some nice prosciutto to parma. We stuff, That's roll cool. it, teach you how to tie it. Nice. We're gonna bake it, slice it, and throw it over a parmesan risotto. Uh, oh my gosh, everything sounds so good. The prosciutto, is that going inside or wrapped around the outside? Oh, inside. Okay. So it doesn't burn, it softens up, and it almost kind of, it, 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 it like dissipates into it. It's like it almost melts right into it's gonna it. It's gonna make for the perfect bite. Absolutely. Uh, and you have all of these things on your menu, and you're accommodating a lot of groups because a lot, time, groups. a lot of folks are gathering. Yeah, this is party festival time. We wait all year for this. <laughs> yeah. we, we, we love our summer, our falls, and all that, but it's Christmas time, it's holiday spirit, mm -hmm. and uh, we do a lot of Christmas parties. Um, we also have entertainment on Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays Good. all month. Um, like that. Entertainment, so that way when you have family and friends coming in for the holidays and celebrations, you can come come and enjoy mm -hmm. our place, and it's pretty rocking. It's a pretty good time. It is. Yeah, we always have fun when you're in our kitchen. We're going to tell you about the other finished dishes that he brought along as well coming up. Guys, I'm telling you, David Ashworth is here from from uh, from Parma, and anytime he comes in, he just brings a ton of food. So it's going to be lunch, dinner, and maybe stuff for for the rest of the week. It's good yeah, to see you. And tomorrow, you're and not hungry. Oh my God, tomorrow, and we'll we'll have enough food for the for the rest of the week. We don't have to cook. Absolutely. Um, tell us about what you, what you're making. And I was so you, I've tried to make this at home. It's never as good as when you make it. Or the restaurant. Or the so, restaurant, yes. So like what I was telling you, a lot of these dishes uh, that we make, like, like, like I was telling you, beef, they have certain fats, they have fat lines and all that pork little less fat right so you have to help it a little bit okay it's like that white meat you need to add a little more salt pepper and garlic or whatever you got to do to help assist bringing that flavor out because pork and all those white meats are very good once you add the little salt it's like it's very tasty sure. so it's like one of those things that you just have to baby it a little bit and give it a little more because like they like they tell you every ingredient doesn't come seasoned so you got to season as you go. So the more stuff you take, the more ingredients you throw in, needs a little more spice. You right. can only stretch salt, pepper, and garlic so far, so far before you lose it. Right. So with that being said, you, as long as you have enough ingredient in, you flavor it, and, and you get salt, pepper to taste, you want it to, to touch your palate, not so much override it, Got it. so okay. to say. So this is that one pound pork tenderloin. We've hammer flattened it nice and flat. And so now you want to layer the prosciutto and all that. So why don't you have it down very easy. Just, Just tuck roll and roll. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Wow, we. And then now, now you have a solid piece. So then you take your butcher's twine. Mm -hmm. Tie that up. And just a couple ties. So, David, you have uh, prosciutto in there. Is it uh, prosciutto, uh, sautéed spinach, okay. sun-dried tomatoes, oh. uh, mozza shredded mozzarella, and provolone cheese. And how long are we are we cooking this? So this is what you want to do. You want to put it in the oven at 400. Got it. Nice preheated oven at 400. And then bake it for like a half hour. Half hour, 35 minutes. You'll see it. You almost start seeing the, the pork like really, really starting to crust on the outside. And it's not burning. It's crusting. Got it. And what happens is it's sealing everything inside. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole trick to that. So what you do is this goes in the oven. Okay. The that power of TV. Yes. Because we're all abracadabra. Put some. So, at the restaurant, obviously, we do a few things. So, we do a nice a, a stuff to serve it with, a sweet potato mash, risottos, all that stuff, because you're trying to, it's like almost a, a slow-cooked roasted dish, like those bucos and stuff. So, right. that starch to kind of go along with it. So, we made a Parmesan risotto. Look, at it looks beautiful. Yes. That looks so good. Oof. It's nice, and now it's staying together nice and clean. And then you come over. You're gonna put take some of the pork and put on that. Yes. Oh man. And then when you slice it up, that looks good. Loaded with stuff inside as well. Woof. 
and not overcooked. So you can see it's not it hasn't like dried out. Nice which and is, pink, which is also is also the key and, too. And obviously nowadays, obviously where we've gone with food and and the old school is uh, where they tell you like cook pork through, cook your chicken, obviously chicken through. But like right. pork, you can play with a little bit. They're eating better. They're, they're being treated better. They're right. not just in the hills. So a little, little glaze on there. Glaze on top. Oof. And that, that just kind of gives it a little bite, and then. And David, I know you have a bunch of things going on as well. You want to give tell us tell us about that because we just have a short time left. Yes, uh, during the Christmas holidays, uh, Christmas Eve, we are doing the Seven Fish. We have Steve Palumbo playing, so it's a very popular night. Um, with uh, New Year's reservation, New Year's Eve reservations coming up. Um, we're running a bunch of gift card specials, so keep your eye. You can buy a hundred, right. get a fifty. Buy a fifty, get a twenty-five. Sure. So we're here to give. We want you to be able to enjoy and give back. I mean, everybody appreciates each, pre appreciates our restaurant all year long, and this is our chance to do a little something for well, you guys I'm telling too. You, I'm telling you, it's great to see you. I hope the the best for you this year, next year. Thanks so much for coming in and everything you hey, do for us. Happy holidays, ha Merry Christmas. Happy brother. holidays and Merry Christmas to you. A uh, great restaurant. Delicious food. If you would like the recipe for this, you can head on over to our website, roadshow.com.